Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to Metro Last Light Redux. Okay, so this is following on from uh, the end of Metro 2033 Redux. I don't remember much about Metro Last Light, I'll be honest. One thing I do know is uh, the game features a tit at one point. Because for some reason in the original playthrough, I went out of my way to try and censor it with uh, the awesome face. And my god, what a pain in the ass that was. Censoring something that's a moving image. Or essentially, censor uh, censoring something that's in motion is a pain in the ass. At least it was back then, but I can't remember what I used as my editor, in all fairness. Metro Last Light was a playthrough that was in the 40s. I don't know if I had switched to a Power Director at that point. I don't know if I had. It's a maybe. Either way, all I do know is it, it was a pain in the ass and took forever to censor out a boob. And so, yeah. <laughs> censor is just a pain in the ass. Wait, is what's different? I mean, given the fact I'm playing Last Light, I think I'd rather go with Spartan. Not because it's easier, but because this is how the original one is. Yeah, because, like, that one says style offers players the original survival horror oriented experience of Metro 2033. I want the Metro 2033 experience in Metro 2033. I want the Metro Last Light experience in Metro Last Light. So yeah, fuck it. Spartan. Oh, and then you can choose your difficulty. There is no easy though, which I find strange. Although to be fair, in the original games, there wasn't a, you didn't get to choose between survival and Spartan. So survival normal is probably harder than Spartan normal. Spartan normal is probably easy, to be honest. You'll need to closely watch your ammo and filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. So every encounter presents a serious challenge to your skill and tactics. Ammo and resources must be jealousy, jealously guarded. Success cannot be guaranteed. I'm going with normal, regardless. Boom. Hey Anthony, how's it going? Gamma correction. The leftmost image is barely visible. That'll do. Yeah, sure. Oh, it shows this. Came much later. Oh no, this isn't the same cutscene. The garden's direction. Never mind. <laughs> the dark ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Look at the thing is, you don't really know much about the Dark Ones. Lies. Shit. Oof, he's even scarier. I always forget to adjust my microphone before I actually start. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Jesus. Oh, there's no like introduction. Well, that's a shame. Oh, look at us. Oh no. I... Okay, memories are coming back of this game. I really do like what they did with the, the, the watch in this game. They made the filter thing a whole lot more... Um, and this is confusing. Is that... Oh. Oh dear. Holy fuck, that's creepy. Whoa, what happened? Where are my comrades? Or are these my comrades? Oh. Yeah, they're my... They're my friends! Oh no! So... Oh dear. We just murdered four people, three people? Oh dear. Not good. Hello! God, they are strange. Or was that just a terrible nightmare? Artyom, wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. It was a nightmare? nightmare okay, good. No wonder, Ooh. after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. 
I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan, how the hell did you get here? Get out, now! Yes, Solomon, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. We can't! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. So... The bad ending of Metro 2033 must be the canon ending, and then the good ending for this one is the canon ending, I think. I don't really know. But chances are I probably won't be getting the good ending on this either, because it's also as convoluted as the first game in terms of getting the good ending. You've got to go through this like checklist of good shit to do. It's a... Honestly, it's a pain in the ass. I thought that was a burnt book then. No, look, it's the Metro 2033 novel. Oh. Oh, that's music. Okay. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah, it does the same thing that the first game does. Alrighty. No, I've actually just realised, I think, anyway. Metro Last Light is when they changed Khan's um, appearance. And I think that's what they went with for Metro 2033 Redux and Last Light Redux. To use that to look at it, and blah blah. Follow Khan to a meeting with Miller. Interesting. Oh man, that guy's rocking out. Ooh, holy balls, dude. How many weapons? Literally has one of everything. Shit, man. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Yeah, but I'm a badass. Where were we? I suppose it's nice down here since the previous. Okay. But still, it doesn't feel right. Find me. It still feels like every patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov's group? Romanov? I thought he was in the hospital. God, I'm Metro 2034 there. Wait, who's talking? The rest of the group wiped out? The marshes are easy. Okay. Just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. That, that sounds like Steve Blum. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanos alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people. He just speaks to God. Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, for a second, I didn't know it was the guy over there that was talking. I thought it was one of these. So I was very confused, because, like, why are their lips not moving? Is that Steve Blum again? Look at those two rookies. Carry on. Pathetic. Pathetic. One thing I do find strange is that even Metro 2033 on survival was fairly um, lenient when it came to the stealth. Like, they gave you a massive window to, like, hide if you were starting to be spotted. It doesn't have any sort of notifications to let you know that you're about to be spotted, but it does play the little, a little tune. Or a little sound clip. Oh, am I getting guns? Holy shit! I am, yeah. Let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. Of course. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still Noisy strong enough in some places to boil water. Mmm. Spots down here in the metro too. Don't there forget go. filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. I really do love what they did with the watch, though. Like actually giving you a time limit on your filters, as opposed to looking at. Well, a watch face and not knowing what the fuck it meant. <laughs> now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you 
need for survival in a stylish orange case. Oh yeah. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smart move. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hard them until late game, and then sp uh, use them as ammo. Holy fuck, that's a lot of money. All the way to bring up everything. Okay. There isn't actually anything. Actually, no, there is. There are sniper rounds, I believe, next to the revolver and shotgun rounds. Oh, hang on. There's actually two different ammo types. Yeah. The one to the right of the revolver round and the one to the left of the revolver round. Ew, okay. Yes, we know. Pretty sure this hood was... Oh yeah. How much is left? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this hood was introduced in Last Light. I can't remember, it's been a very long time. Oh! I get to choose! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah! We have an an absatz. Book fire heavy fire oh, bookshot firing heavy machine gun. Jesus Christ, so what do we get to choose from? A valve? So this rifle made in the metro by skilled gunsmiths is extremely accurate and powerful, a truly great long distance weapon. The Kalash, of course. Classic pre-war assault rifle. Despite being very common, it's held in high regard in the metro due to its, due to its reliability. I could not say that word. And performance. The RPK. Wait. No, oh, it's got a slightly bigger magazine. Oh, it's a light machine gun. Okay. At the same time being able to handle, handle long bursts. The bastard. Yeah, no thanks. Overheats. Huh. From looking at this, I think I'm going to go with a revolver Kalash. Ooh, maybe not. I might go with a... Kalash Valve. I really don't know what order. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Shotgun. Only issue with that is the fact it takes so long to reload. I kind of wish it gave you, like, stats. Oh. Oh, that doesn't give you stats. I thought it would. Hmm. Shambler revolver. Ah, I can leave that. Go with the valve. There's a lucky thing that we're able to, you know, take multiple things. I don't want a silencer on me, AK. Although it could be useful. But it does lead to decreased damage. All we can get for that is a reflex sight. Oh. I may get rid of the valve for now, then. Yeah. If I can't put on a, like, two times sight, then it's effectively useless. For long range. Yeah, I think I'll just go with the Shambler. Hmm. Could go with a heavy machine gun, but I have no idea what kind of weapons they're like. Does not accept silencers. Well, I, ne I never. So what? I don't know what the difference is between these two. I know one's a light machine gun, but... Do they use different rounds, or what? I would hope so. I also have no idea. Yeah, I think I will do that. Wait, I need to hold this down. So... 30, that must be sniper bullets. Yeah, I'll get rid of the RPK. Just because I think it uses the same ammo as the assault rifle, as the Kalash. Revolver, I guess? Although I would like to... I'm just doing this because the order's better. Oh yeah, I could just do three revolvers. So that doesn't sound counterintuitive. I replace that with a shambler. God, this took me so long just to choose weapons. Sheesh. Go with that. And I... Ooh, an extended barrel. That increases the accuracy. Bulkier and heavier. Does it only increase accuracy? Oh, I was hoping it would, like, 
make it more powerful. I think an extended barrel would be nice. On this I will actually put a silencer. Yeah, toward the tail end of 2033 it was quite useful. More efficient. Very nice. No, it was actually quite good to have a silenced assault rifle because it, you know, it fires pretty quickly. Man, look at that. Jesus. The fucking barrel's huge. Nice. I didn't realize it took multiple. Oh. Fuck. Yeah! Of course. I'll just get all my ammo back. So, I'm currently outfitted with a revolver. Kalash and Shambler. Okay. I think I'm good. The Kalash is just, you know, your, your standard fare. The Shambler I really do like, but my god. It's such a shitty thing to reload. It takes so long. It's kind of ridiculous. Ooh. You're not to disclose the fact that D6 has been found to anyone in the metro. The colonel says someone already spilled the beans. The stations are crawling with rumors. Each flight crazier than the last. Sure. Food for 10 million. Super weapons, secret machinery. And others claim there's a radio down here powerful enough to contact the bunkers in Siberia, where the president and the government are holed up. Yeah, it's made. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it looked like he was doing that toward me, dick. We're gonna get irradiated here for damn sure. No way, the base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the doors. Lots of them are still sealed. Some are welded shut. And there's a few that look like they were locked up inside. I'm looking for... So what? Military grade rounds. There might be some. I can crouch. Steve Blum. Don't actually know if it is him, it just sounds very similar. Guy with the gunshots. while to get through. Any ammo? Nope. Oh man. Alright. They've got it nice and hidden away, it seems. Hmm. 
Ooh. Oh. Lesnitsky. Oh, look at me. Ew. Oh, look at that high detail shadow. Yeah. Oh man, you can see all my weapons. Nice, I have a shadow. It's not... <laughs> I always love when you don't have legs in a game, but you have a shadow. It's connected to nothing. We're in D6. Oh. The things in these huh. are like what the conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to throw me a new one because of Lesnitsky. The red hot poker right into my soul. He's the Joker. All right, let's go. I thought I recognized the voice. I could, just couldn't place it. Yeah, he constantly cracked jokes. But it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies, the exits. Still, the base the order dreamed of finding. Hmm. Mm. They say Elsa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the one. It's quite weird playing this right after playing 2033. Especially with all the tutorial stuff that's, I would say, fast on the player, but they don't expect other people to have played 2033. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm almost certain he's the guy that was constantly cracking jokes. Come on in. The colonel does not like drafts. Yeah, you look fairly similar. All right. They were making us mad though. Hmm. No. Of evolution. But I would argue the old laws no longer apply. And Hunter didn't te teach us that. He taught us if it's hostile, you kill it. So, uh, up yours, Khan. I'm, I'm still looking around for fucking bullets. Ah, oh dear. I need to get out of that habit for the moment. <gasps> You sound like the father from Nia. Yes, God. Let's keep it short then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll set a sniper on My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To kill it. To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't. It's murder. Restrain him. So oh dear. Idiot. You're making the same mistake that we're done here. Escort Con out of here. 
Oh no! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Hmm. Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Okay, it's weird. After it's playing um, Exodus. Maybe you could Ooh. draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind. Or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? Yeah. It is. I suspect Liz okay. was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. This wrist. Okay, I think I'm hearing a lot of Steve Blum. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Anybody with a really gruff voice? Ooh, a note! Yes! Let's hope these ones are better, um... I don't know if these ones would have been localized or just better written. Because, <laughs> God, the first... Oh, Metro 2033 had a ho whole lot of, um, mistakes. So I must do what Hunter demanded of me, what Miller ordered... Oh, what Miller ordered me, what Anna expects of me. Must prove to them all that I deserve to be one of them. To be one of the Order's fighters, to dedicate my life to the protection of humanity, the protection of the Metro. This mission is tailor-made for me. Pardon me. I am the only one impervious to the influence of the Dark Ones. Perhaps I was born to rid humanity of them once and for all. And now I am one step from fulfilling that task, so why am I so uneasy? Hmm. Let's go! Tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Hmm. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them fall into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. I'm right at the edge. Oh. Slowed right on down. Couldn't really have done much of anything. Okay, you were really quiet. Man. Although I was running away from her. Yeah, I completely forgot the D6 became our base. Understandably so, it's a fucking fortress. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno, yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it, to finish what I started. Hmm. Train to the past. Here goes. Oh, I got my gun out. Nice. I have no idea what the hell I want to even use. Oh, you're wearing a hat now. Trains were ordinary things, but now this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things, and their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Yep. What a time to be alive. Oh. But well, that's the best part. Exploring the unexplored. Finding the goodies that have been left behind. What are you doing? You got it. Right. You ready? Let's move. I'm gonna say I'm trying to turn on my flashlight, it just wasn't working. Yeah! Hmm. Wait, didn't... 
I thought Miller... Wait, was it Miller? That died? Well, no, obviously he didn't die. Maybe he just got close to death. He got smacked by a goddamn demon. And it was a pretty hard hit, too. I'm certain that was Miller. God, you're such a bitch. Sheesh. Be a little nicer to me. I'm a greenhorn. Wow, there's a lot of dead bodies. Oh, that was a child. Oh no, and that was a baby? I think that was a child too. Oh god, that's grim. Shit. What's with music? God, after playing Tokyo Dark earlier today, this is nothing. Tokyo Dark was way scarier. Whoa. All right, the map shows what the fuck? Entry point ahead. Oh. Eh? What is this? Is that a gun? Ooh. Oh yeah. I can't. Move. I'm following. I can't tell if that's a gun or something else. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Which means loot. Oh god, this is a grave. Ye god. Oh, I thought that would have been loot. It's usually what a dead end means. To be fair, this is probably what would screw me out of getting the good ending anyway. Looting corpses, because... <laughs> that's, like, one of the things that lowers your karma or something. More childs! Shit, that thing's fast. What thing? I was too busy looking at the corpses. Nah, just a few nostalgias. Why are you such a bitch? Why can't you be nice? Yeah,